All right, good afternoon one more time. Welcome back to Expert Insights. I'm your host, Raju Mandi, and we are, of course, with the great Rama Bhagat Singh, <laughs> the Raymond Bhagat Singh, and we are going to, quote-unquote, cook his goat. He's a vegetarian, <laughs> and <laughs> he didn't want to eat goat. So we brought him some vegetarian food, food through the means of Komal Khanchandani of Swagat Indian Cuisine, right? And she's going to cook, what is Palak it? Palak Paneer. Okay, and, uh, and Rama, you like I'm, that, I suppose. And I love palak paneer. Palak paneer. Spinach with the cottage cheese. Yes. Okay. Um, I order that all the time in your restaurant. Oh, okay. it's my pleasure. <laughs> all right, so uh, name the ingredients and okay. tell us what happens. For the palak Quickly, paneer, yeah? we need the spinach, the onions and tomatoes. Here's everything over here, the raw one. First, we have to do that, uh, we have to slice the onions and just uh, boil it a little bit so that it won't be hard to be grinded so that there's a... I think so. I have brought the grinded onion paste. It's yeah. here. And so uh, onion becomes onion soup? Like it's or a paste. onion uh, it's gravy, a paste. yeah? Okay. Yeah, it's onion paste. And here's the tomatoes. Tomatoes are the same thing. Just boil it and uh, grind it. And here it's a grinded because I don't want to waste your time to be grinding in everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool. It's okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And after that, there's a green chilies and for the, for the taste and uh, the, the garlic. And it's a ginger. Right. This also just make a paste of it. And here is the paste I uh, brought it also. So that uh, when you okay. cook, just put a little oil. So, yeah. Just That's put a little olive oil. Yeah. oil okay. And then mix all the ingredients with the salt. So let, let me chili. ask you one thing. Did you ever eat Indian food as a growing child in the Philippines? Did your mom, dad, grandpa, anybody cook Indian food? Only in restaurants. Ah, not Only at home. All, all not at home. Um, when I became a vegetarian and I got into spiritual, uh, spir you know, meditation, uh, the Indian monk who, who is my spiritual guide cooks yeah. for me all the time. Vegetarian meal. And was the Indian. shift easy from being a meat eater to a gulai eater? No, I actually thought I was going to die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a big meat eater and I'm so used to I the protein. I have no idea whether you're kidding me or not. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I'm serious. All right. I was really weak for a certain time. And then oh, until my right body got used to it. And this yes. was in India, this was in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Oh boy. Okay. Yes. I would die too without chicken or fish. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I cook, but the only only cuisine I cook is Indian Indian meals taught Today. to me by the monk. Yes. If Nowadays. I, if I do cook, I'm and more you comfortable. Cook for cooking yourself. Indian. Yes, for myself and um, dog, cat. Yeah, when I was in L.A., I cooked a lot. But here I have a cook. But when right. I was living in L.A., I cooked. But you also run a restaurant now, Rama. Yes, yes, we do have a restaurant. We have Boo Boys and Friends in a Sal. It's um, by um, Scott Madrinian and um, Scott Torillo around Timog, Quezon City. So I want to ask you before Kumal describes the process any further. Do you see any connection between acting and cooking? Yes, yes, I believe it's just... Um, you know, getting the proper ingredient in order to come, come up with a, a great result, mm -hmm. a great tasting food, which is a great performance. Uh, okay. And you just have to have the right dose of this and the right dose of that or the right dose of this psychology here. <laughs> I, I understand. Correct me. You know, uh, cooking also, you're never sure that how the outcome will be. I mean, you take in so many ingredients, right? You take in the raw materials and you take the oil, the fire and the chopping and all. At the end of it, you are not sure that, hey, it'll taste good or not. Is it the same with movies or with uh, TV serials? Same with any kind of expression? Yes, it's just that we have lesser room for mistakes. In? Uh, in acting. In we have lesser room for mistakes and error because it's, uh, it would be aired straight away. Um, like this show here. Like this show here. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's a matter of trusting your instinct, I believe. So over time, your instincts become sharper. Yes, and your imagination, just like the food, you do not know how it's going to taste like, but you, you imagine the taste of this and the taste of this and the taste of that and put the ingredients together, and you imagine the taste before it comes out. Right, right. And also, same thing applies to life, Rama, would yes. you say? Yeah? Yes, of course. Living a good life today? Yes. yes tell us yes. about that. I mean, tell us your point of view of life. What, through your uh, journey from multicultural Australia, Philippines, and uh, you being an actor and you doing so many roles, good ones and bad ones and some really bad ones. Characters, not the, really bad not ones, the performance, yes. no? Uh, how do you come out of it still staying human, still staying sane? That's a good, that's a good um, question. Million dollar question. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. because um, 
actors tamper with their uh, psychology. And um, a human being's psychology doesn't kid around. And if you make it believe that you are sad, if you make it believe that you are angry, you have to believe that you are angry or sad. That's, that's method acting, but the best actors are the ones who do not act. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite oxymoronic because you say acting, great acting is no acting. That and they always sense. say no acting, please. And because if I can believe in my emotions, in my role, that's wow. the only time my viewer, as you, will believe in me. Right. You will believe every word that I say. You will believe every emotion that I, I bring you at. That's powerful. So uh, you're saying that great actors, again, they shouldn't be called great actors again because... To call them an actor would be an oxymoron, right? But great right. performers, great peop uh, people who deliver the emotion and uh, the, 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 the going on, goings on in the mind of the character, uh, who would you pick from globally and then Philippines? Who would you pick as being that persona, that thespian who puts together that kind of a recipe or that kind of a dish of acting? Your well, favorite? yeah. One in the U.S., I believe, is such a great actor. He can transform himself. Um, well, he's a character actor. His name is Gary Oldman. Yeah, the, the, uh, the guy who played the negative role in Air Force One. Yes, yes. The villain in I Air believe. Force One beats up uh, Harrison Ford. I remember him. That's right. And I think he was a lead who played Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't watch that one. Yeah. yeah it's, and? Uh, in the Philippines, I mean, um, we have... A number of them, definitely, but uh, one that registered to me, for me, when I was uh, just just um, discovering the arts of acting was Dindo Fernando. Dindo He's, Fernando. He was he was the doing late, the black the late and white. Dindo Fernando. The late Dindo Fernando. I the thought guy he was who ahead used of to time. act with Julie De La Vega. Yes, Julie Vega in um, Florida some, Luna. Some, when I came to the, yeah yeah yeah, there used to be a series I used to watch, and Dindo died of a heart attack or something. Yes. After How about uh, Mr. Trinidad? Or uh, Joel Torre, or uh, oh yes, yes, of course, Joel Torre, Christopher De Leon. Um, which Trinidad were you uh, referring? The senior, to? the Joel Trinidad, uh, the 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 Champoy. Champoy. Oh yes, yes, I think uh, his name is jo Joel. Noel, uh, Noel, Noel Trinidad. Joel's dad. His yeah. son is uh, his son is Joel. Mm. Yes, a lot of great actors. <laughs> a lot of great actors. Um, uh, Pen Medina is one. He's a contemporary of Joel Torre. He's a theater. He does a lot of character role, All and right. he teaches as well. Great, great, right. So, Komal, let's come back to you. No? So, yeah. uh, uh, paste, paste of, of onions, onions, tomato paste, right? And chopped up uh, spinach, yeah. chopped up garlic, and chopped up and this is garlic and ginger. Here's the main, here's and the ginger. main yeah. ingredient. I will not tell you. This is a cottage cheese. Yeah, it's where do you get that goat from? <laughs> Sorry, is so that the goat, goat cheese? I'm kidding. Uh, no, no, it's a, it's a full of milk. So I know, but milk. Uh, what animal does the milk come from? <laughs> Naturally, it's a goat, goat milk. No, sorry, cow's milk. A cow milk, okay, yeah. not buffalo, not no, goat, no, not, no, goat. No. not chickens. No, no, it's pure no vegetarian. Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> no chicken milk, it's yeah. It's pure vegetarian. Okay. So this is the cottage cheese. So we'll be using that because it's a palak paneer. Paneer is a cottage that's, cheese. That's a very popular dish and yeah. he likes it too, okay? And here the, we can slice the pieces and... I'll slice it for you. Oh, then you can okay. go ahead and explain the rest uh, of the ingredients. Okay, yeah. then... Uh, sorry, Ramon, we don't have another knife. So oh, it's up, okay. Yeah. I'll just watch. <laughs> and okay. Just for the cooking of the palak paneer, just yeah. put some oil in a pan. like yeah. Then mix all this, the pastes what, which are done with the onions and yeah. the tomatoes and the garlic yeah. paste especially first. And then add some salt to the taste. Okay. And then some turmeric powder. So, so it's cow, a cheese from cow? Would, you, would vegetarians eat cheese from cow? Wouldn't would that be uh, Vegetarians would, but vegans wouldn't. So you do eat cheese from cow? Yes, I so do. So if something comes from an animal, wouldn't that be animal too? Yes, so to speak. Just kidding. Um, in, sure. in ethical purposes, um, it's, uh, you become a vegetarian or vegan because you do not want to kill animals yeah <laughs> yeah I mean I mean you know I mean you, you guys can eat meat if you like I mean right so okay go on <laughs> then, uh, then so take it all together take it all together just mix it all the ingredients what you have the, 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 the salt for taste and the, the coriander powder and the, mostly there's a the turmeric powder it's that's very good that's for very the, popular with me very, yeah. yeah and it's now this a uh, part of the spice if you like the spice you can add some this chili is powder. hot this hot. is really hot no? hot is okay. it cayenne 
no. cayenne. It's, uh, it's a chili. It's chili powder. Chili this powder. One chili powder. Is and this is a it's a garam masala. It's a mixture of the cardamom, cinnamon, everything. So this is seeds. dangerous stuff, Rama. I don't know if you ever tried this. This is uh, olives. This is cardamom. This is um, cinnamon. Cumin, cinnamon, all those black, weird things that you see and you think it's they might star, be some kind of star. creature. Ayurvedic. And if Are you, you ready? Yes. Yeah, if you pop this in, you fly. This is <laughs> I mean, this is spicy, but this one can make you bloat and take you to the next level right away. Oh, really? Yeah, well, anyway. So, <laughs> so and then stir fry it. Just mix it in the pan. Yes, then add the, the cheese over there. Then it's ready to eat. So I understand this is your season time also, Koma, yes. right? Yes. What yeah. season is this? It's now Diwali festival is coming on. Mm. Ashrama, if it's you know what Diwali you know is. Diwali. Happy Diwali, yes. Oh, it's yes. festival of lights. Color festival really, lights. And, and it's really, a, for the Hindu, it's a very big festival. Yes, that's, it's like Christmas, so to it's speak. It's like a Christmas like. So then Diwali I'd like to experience speech. that in India. Oh. In your lifetime, you didn't hear growing up, uh, there were Indians, of course, so many of us around that time, no? So growing up, did you grow up in Metro Manila, the, the period that you were not in Australia? Yes, yes, just Metro Manila. Where were you? Oh, Metro Manila, in a couple of years in the province, in um, Nueva Ecija. Right. Nueva Ecija, Santa Rosa. Right, right. Um, and did you have neighbors, friends, Indians, did they ever invite you for Diwali or something? It hasn't happened, but we had friends who were Indians. Um, for some reason, my family was into the practice of Christmas, but um, I'm pretty much the only one who branched out and, and really took more interest in so our, our Indian culture. So Diwali is all about Rama, the great Lord Rama, great the Rama. great avatar Rama. She'll tell you the story. What's the it's story a, behind it's Diwali? Rama. The Lord Rama was being excelled for the 14 years. He came back, fought with the evil Ravana. Mm -hmm. Then when he came back, all were very happy. There was a joy, the sweets, the lightnings, the colorful. They were and he was welcoming with Sita. With the Sita, actually the Sita also was being picked up with the Ravan, Ravana and he fought with the Ravan and he came back with Sita and Lakshman. That's well, it's, it's all metaphorical, yes. that means the good person of a good soul goes and fights all the evil in the world, all the evil in the world and just cleans up the cleans world. Up that's the, the world. metaphor, and I mean the myths don't really are true, but that's why they're called myths. So actually I'm a big fan of the Ramayana. That's, 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 Ramayana. that's Ramayana. Ramayana. That's the story she told you, just told you in brief. And that's right. So he comes back after 14 years of 14 years penance of and suffering. Yes. Rama is supposedly the um, reincarnation uh, of Vishnu. Yeah, well most all of them because there's only one God in the Hindu myth. People think there are hundreds, there's none, there's only one. That's right. So, uh, Expressed Rama, in different deities. Yeah, different deities, they take form, different periods, and yeah, most of them are representations rather than different people or different characters. That's right. So, uh, what's the what's, uh, future for you, Rama? What holds, uh, what are you creating right now? What movies are you making? Uh, what are you doing besides the foundation? Um, the future for me, I'd like to believe, is um, exciting. Um, I'm off to pursue my career also in the U.S. Yeah. because I was there for four years and yeah. um, I've been here now for three years overstaying my green card but um, I do have to pursue that very soon. Um, I'm going to the U.S. on November 1st for a month to fix yeah. my green card Yeah. and just fix, you know, um, just keep a few more projects here and then I'll, I'll be shuffling maybe six months at a time uh, Manila to uh, L.A. You wrapped up your current project here, the current TV serial that's going on, yes, which is going with the technical staff here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so when you do six months here, six months there, you're striving to make a life out in both countries or just here? Yes, yes, so to speak. Uh, I'd like to keep my um, my career stable here, being away for four years. Um, that was my aim by just um, staying here longer than I should have, uh, just to keep my career. Uh, on, on track again, yeah. but it's time for me to pursue uh, my career in the U.S. And if it does um, ask of me to stay there longer, I will. But um, it's not to say that I will be away from the local cinema. I'd like to, as I said with the foundations and all, I would like to be a part of um, bringing back cinema to the, uh, on, on the Philippine screen and we can be more active in making more movies. So not film, but cinema, which is much more grander, bigger, and in-depth. Is that the difference between film and cinema? Well, with the friends that I have, um, yeah. the great directors that I know, yeah. they always refer to cinema as um, a more um, 
expensive kind of movie making. Uh, like Tangin Yaman, would you call that cinema? Yes, yes. I thought that was, I loved it. It was really fabulous. It was yes. great storytelling. And then what would be described as film? Or run of the mill? Yeah, yeah. I mean, in no in a way, down, yes, yes. Yeah. No, no putting down. It's, it's more of the contemporary stories, but um, epic stories, um, stories that has something to oh. do with uh, a gr on oh, a grander no. scale of um, different generations. And right, uh, like Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia, yes, or, yes, exactly. Uh, what's, the, what's the one with Gone with the Wind? Was yes, cinema. yes, perfect. Would, uh, what's, the, what's the one with uh, the one, the black and white? Yeah, you have Casablanca. Yeah, Casablanca have, would yes. be considered cinema at the time. Do yes, they plan yes. out calling it cinema or do they plan out making a quick movie? How does it go? I mean, does this happen by chance? Just like cooking? I'd like to believe that cinema is, uh, well, they're all good. Um, it's just that cinema has more of um, more time and effort and mind put into uh -huh. it. Um, to make sure that no loose ends when it's shown. Um, mm -hmm. The color, everything is just uh, a cohesive, mm -hmm. a cohesive mm -hmm. work of excellence, so mm -hmm. to speak, and passion. Okay. And uh, again, I'm going to use the word struggle. Yeah, I'm going to use the word struggle. No? It's a great uh, word. Uh, well, let's say strive. How's that? Is that a nicer word? Because you're cautious of words, I realize. Huh? No, so I, I, I like you, struggle. You struggle like struggle, is I great. like it too, actually. I like struggle and striving. So in, in the U.S., making it in the U.S., which is a bigger playing field, lots of uh, talent out there, how are you doing? Good. Very good. As I said, um, I'm lucky enough to audition six times when I, uh, upon getting my green card. That's the only time I can really audition. Before that, I studied the business. But upon doing, upon my six auditions, I was able to bag three small movies. And, um, well, I do not want to call them insignificant. It's just that the ratio usually it's a just on a grander scale is that if you audition in Hollywood you'll be lucky to get one out of your 50 auditions Great. and I'd like to believe that whoever aspires and does not does not waver from their from their goal will always get what they want Rama thank you very much for being on this show and while uh, Komal pulls out the cat out of the bag, the rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> she finishes making funny pilot. I have two questions for you. Yeah. One question is, what are your tips for upcoming actors like yours, yourself? Yeah. What do you want to tell them? A couple of things. And then what are your dreams for this country of yours, Philippines? What do you hope for it to become someday? Mm. So you can start with one and Komal, you can go pull out the thingy. Yeah. The goat out of the bag. There is the goat. <laughs> there is the goat out of the bag. Yes, sir. Well, um, this is the ready just palak paneer. Learn as much as you can. Oh, this is the, yeah, the yeah. cooked palak paneer. This is paneer. the cooked palak yeah. paneer. And this is the ready. You can so this is how it looks. You want to taste it? Spicy. Man. It's not steaming yet. Mm. Okay, we'll serve this. And this goes with rice. With, right, with the bread. With chapati. Yes. Yeah, it's called pita bread. Yes. You know, basically, it's just uh, those um, aspiring actors, they just have to learn as much as they can about the craft. Have, um, I mean, do everything they can in order to, to excel. And um, if you don't stop at something, you will get it sooner or later. Ah, so strive on, struggle yes. on, persist. Yes. But you also mentioned that you also have to strive to become a better person every day. You mentioned that. Yes, that's would right. That, would that be important? That's yeah. very important. Uh, charisma, as I said earlier, is the embodiment of love. Correct, yeah. yeah. Um, understanding what it means to be a human being. Yeah, it Understa must ooze out of you. That's yes. charisma, right? Yes. It's that's my daughter's you, name, by the way. <laughs> charisma? Yes. That is a great name. <laughs> I hope she watches this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, love that oozes out of you becomes charisma. See, if there must be love inside for it to become visible and felt by people standing next to you. That would be charisma. That's right. So if PJ had it? Yes, he did. Yeah, he and did. Uh, who else in the... He was well loved by the industry. Also, I mean, this, his screen presence was oozing. I mean, I'm not claiming him to be a great actor or something, but somehow that thing was it. How about on he the U.S. Presence. screen, uh, American screen? Is there anyone in your horizon who you think has charisma? They all do. Most of the great actors like Robert De Niro, like um, Al Pacino, uh, Brad Pitt. 
Daniel Day Lewis, Brad Pitt. You yeah, have you have Daniel Russell Crowe. You name that. Daniel yeah. Day Lewis. You, you yeah, he is he is one of the gods of acting. Great. So last question: What are your dreams for this lovely country, the birthplace of your family? Yes. What are your dreams for it? And you can pull out everything. Como? I'll just stand here. So that goes. Oh, by the God. way, so on the occasion of Happy Diwali, Koma is gonna treat you to gulab jamun. Gulab jamun. Oh my God! Sugar rush. I love that. Me, I'm gonna have one. I want. I love it. Sweets for the Diwali. Just like that, fingerling, yes. right? Okay, come okay. on. I think let's do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my dream for this country is that everyone works together for the progress of this country. Um, it's just a matter of just coming together in, in unity and working together. And the foundation that you build create for actors, for the psyche Education. of the masses, yes. will help it? I would like to aim for that. And no name you mentioned. Did you mention a name yet or no? Not yet. Not yet. You want to give us the name or no? I'd like to register it first. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Rama, thank you very much for being on Experience Size. May thank you very much. God but speed. I, don't know I can how we'll shake, shake your, hand. your left hand. Yeah. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, I'm going to watch... One of your movies, the one with Joel Torre, I'm going to pick up the... Milagros. Milagros. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to give you feedback on that. Thank you. So, salamat po. Salamat po. Mam Komal, thank you very much thank for being on the much. show. You can announce your... Uh, you do. Uh, you can come to our restaurant. Our, our restaurant is Swagat Indian Cuisine. It's located yeah. at 119 FCC Building, Radha Street, Legaspi Village, Makati. And you can call us at 752 5669. Thank and you very much. Here's and here's the palak paneer and palak paneer. Come and have, and on, especially on Diwali oh. dates on November 3, you can have some sweets free at Swagat Indian Cuisine. And oh. Rama and his and gang is always. Uh, sure. They are most welcome on the Diwali days. So you can have special sweets of the Diwali. Thank you. We will be there. All sure. Right. Uh, Rama, you want to announce anything? Thank yes, you, uh, I'd like to invite people. Um, of Makati or uh, neighboring cities to attend their Halloween fest, Makati After Dark. Um, it's a Halloween street party, one of the biggest Halloween street party ever in Makati. We will be closing portions of Buendia. And um, the, we will be running a six kilometer fun run with 3,000 zombies. <laughs> and um, it's for, uh, for a family and friends and children also and we'll have a uh, live bands car show fashion show and Mercato central food stalls all over so you have to be there after 6 p.m. on November um, October 31st good night and thank you very much for watching expert inside that was Rama Bhagat Singh and thank Komal Kanchandani of Swagat and wish you guys a happy Diwali from across the Indian family uh, multicultural cross-bred in a family. So have a great weekend. Mabuhay and salamat po.